Okay, so this is a continuous series. But um, I thank God. And I'm going to make it. We were saying, we would say, don't let nobody move you from your position. I ain't talking about no titles. Talking about, talking about, um, your position in God. Because there's no titles in God. So, and that would speak to my soul. I just, I accepted it. At the moment that it was given to me. And now that this situation has happened, it's helping me to go through it situation to, to not allow it to go to my heart it didn't touch my heart so it's not in my heart so I don't have nothing against the person that said it I don't have nothing against the, the giver that send it out I mean the, 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 the messenger that send it out I have no problem with them you see what I'm saying because God going God gonna do what need to be done you see what I'm saying and I have to look at, I have to look at it like this, that all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord. So, maybe it happened that way because the person don't need to be there. Maybe they're going that day because, I don't know, because since I'm going the day before, then that'll be, I'll be the representation. And then the next day be, whatever, you know what I'm saying? It just kind of hurt it. It just hurt it my natural side it just hurt it my person you know who I am but it didn't steer me away from God you see what I'm saying I just had to get myself together and I'm gonna go back upstairs and this is communion so God knows I'm holding no malice in my heart nothing in my heart against nobody or you know what I have a pure heart Whatever was done today, everybody has to give account for what they do. And I don't have no negative thoughts against the person. I don't feel no way against them. I'll still speak to them. But, you know what I'm saying? I don't have time for sin, nor, nor sinning. So... I accept people for who they are because at times they allow the enemy to use them. And what makes it so sad is that half the time they don't realize that the enemy is using them. And when things come out, when things come out, then it'll be exposed. That's why I don't say nothing. Because I let God bring it all out. I'm like David now. While the fire burned inside. I held my peace, even from good. You see what I'm saying? Because God, God said also, don't let your good be evil spoken of. So, that's the good of me. So, I'm not going to be like, I started to say something to the person. And then, here's the thing. If I had said something, then that meant that I felt something against them. And then I would have responded in a way that I shouldn't have. And I'm always saying that sometimes we can't say things when we feel that we want to say. Because we'll be speaking. We'll be speaking on how we feel. And not speaking on what God wants done. We'll be speaking on what we want done. Mm. Gotta be careful because I have a big coffee stain on here. People don't understand. I don't like to mess with light. Because light is pure, pure, and purified. And when you get stains in it, it does not look nice. This dress that I got on now. I haven't worn it since whatever service that was where we had to wear lavender or purple. What's the purple? It was lavender. Lavender, right? 
not going to be good. And I still had the lavender in it, the top part of it. I didn't even think I could have worn my collar, but I'll be forgetting about that shirt. Oh, they don't tell me nothing. They don't tell me I'm supposed to wear a collar at the funeral. They don't tell me I'm supposed to wear a collar at, um, at communion. We were supposed to be preaching for communion as well. We ain't did that yet. You know, so I don't know nothing. When I see people do it, then that's when I know that's what's supposed to be done in reference to clergy. Because, and that's what I said when the person was saying that you don't go out to speak because of this. I said, well, you don't tell us nothing. Y'all don't tell us nothing. Y'all don't tell us what we need to be doing. You just tell us what we ain't doing. So when when we are going down and doing the things that you suggest to do, whether right or wrong, in the spiritual realm, in 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 church realm, and church doctrine or whatever, you know, even let us know. Okay, well that is right. Okay, but this is this is what you need to do. You need to do this. You see what I'm saying? And, uh, you you need to go out and. When we come out a little early on Wednesday night, we're going to give out some track. You see what I'm saying? Um, we're going to have service Friday night outside. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. Okay. We're going to the hospital. Those who want to go, come along. They're so secretive. And they t- always talking about, oh, you don't have to be secretive. We don't want to get in the business. In your business. No, my business is my business. I know what's my business and I know what's not to tell you. And that's what y'all get upset because I don't tell you my business. But anything to do with Christ, I tell it. I tell it. And then you tell me I ain't got no business telling it. So the things that y'all doing for Christ, y'all going to visit people in the sick room. I don't know nothing about it until either the person that come out of the hospital say it or the person died. Or, or the person, or you, you come back and say the person is dead, or you send me a text saying that they dead, or I see it on Facebook that they died, or you come back and announce that you went and did this and you did that. It's time to go upstairs. I'll talk more on this when I get home. Or maybe when I go out to eat. Be blessed.